On the night of November 20, a drone attack took place in the Novgorod region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported this. Ukrainian kamikaze drone struck the 13th arsenal of the main missile and artillery directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense in the town of Katovo. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred. The arsenal stores artillery in mortar shells, missiles for the Grad, Smirch and Urigan multiple rocket launcher systems, Iskander missiles, North Korean-made KN-23 missiles, anti-aircraft missiles for the S-300 and S-400 complexes, and missiles for the Tor complex. After the incident, some of the residents of the Katovo settlement were evacuated. Note that the Novgorod region is located 680 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. There was also a drone attack on an oil refinery in the Samara region at night. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that a total of 90 drones took part in the attacks overnight. It is said that 20 of them were shot down over the Novgorod region. Вот дрон летает. Я его вижу, но камера его не видит. Он пролетел. The Associated Press fanned out across Ukraine to chronicle a typical 24 hours of life just as the country was about to mark 1,000 days since Russia's full-scale invasion on February 24, 2022. November 11 was a typical day of violence and resilience in Ukraine. It opened as many days do, with pre-dawn Russian bombings on homes appending lives in various cities across the country. One hit Zaporizhia followed shortly later by another that killed six in Mykolaiv, including a woman and her three children. Before the day was even halfway done, a Russian ballistic missile shattered yet another apartment building, this time in the city of Krivi Rih. When Russian tanks rolled into Ukraine in February 2022, the conventional wisdom was that the capital, Kiev, would soon fall and the rest of the country wouldn't last long against a much larger enemy. The Ukrainian army proved it could slow the advance of Russia's forces and, if not drive them out completely, then with enough support from the West at least forestall defeat. But nearly three years later, the outlook is again grim. Russia is expending huge amounts of weaponry and human life to make small but steady territorial gains to the nearly one-fifth of Ukraine it already controls. Ukraine, meanwhile, is struggling to minimize losses, maintain morale and convince allies that, with more military aid, it can turn the tide. As this brutal war of attrition grinds toward its 1,000th day, neither side seems eager to negotiate. President-elect Donald Trump has said he could quickly end the war, though it is unclear how or in whose favor he might tip the scales. For now, the attacks continue and on Sunday Russia launches one of its fiercest missile and drone attacks at Ukraine's infrastructure. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says Russia launched 120 missiles and 90 drones in a large-scale attack across Ukraine targeting its energy infrastructure. The combined drone and missile attack was said to be the most powerful in three months.